Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign team has admitted mishandling the weekend's health scare concerning the Democratic candidate. Critics want to know why, following her apparent collapse as she was helped into a car, it had not been revealed that she had some days before been diagnosed with pneumonia. With her health now emerging as a campaign issue, there have been promises to release new medical records to reassure voters of her fitness to stand for the presidency. Economist and Nobel Prize winner Joseph Stieglitz said he had no such concerns. Well, clearly the Trump campaign is going to try to make the most of that. What is remarkable is somebody at her age working, campaigning as hard as she's campaigning, I think it's a physically grueling and I think she's already proven that she has a, a kind of physical strength that, quite honestly, most people could not, could not have survived. While the health of 68-year-old Clinton may worry some, for others it's the lack of transparency. Her team initially said she'd only been suffering from the heat. It's a topic which has got voters talking. I don't think because you have pneumonia it's going to make a difference whether the person should trust you or not. A pneumonia, anyone can come down with pneumonia. The person should take a look at how hard she's been campaigning, the letter, how a little bit of rest she's been getting. Clinton is now said to be resting at her home in New York. She's cancelled a two-day trip to California that included fundraisers and a speech on the economy. However, her doctors say she should be able to resume normal campaigning after a few days.